Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I have a head-to-head -head comparison with one of the most iconic names in Scotch whiskey. It's the Macallan 12-year-old Sherry. 43% ABV, the new bottling versus the old bottling. Can we expect the same level of quality as we once had? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. So the Macallan 12 Sherry, it was a staple in the beginning of my Scotch journey. Uh, it was a bottle that I really gravitated towards a lot. The quality was very, very good. Uh, a decent price. Um, I remember when I first started drinking scotch, I could find the Macallan 12 uh, Sherry in the U.S. for around $59.99, sometimes on sale for as low as, you know, $45. Um, it started going up very, very steeply uh, by the time uh, it was discontinued. You know, they were looking at, you know, $70 probably was the tops at the end of the rain. Uh, and then they went to the new bottle design and prices continued to soar. Um, I think that if you wanted to purchase this bottle, the new one at the LCBO, it would be 150 Canadian dollars. Um, I've reviewed the old Sherry uh, Macallan before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the new Sherry and then compare it to the old one. Let's see how it is on the nose. So right away, I get lots of Macallan characteristic that I would expect. Um, I get that orange, that really nice orange peel, orange oil. Um, a citrus note that Macallan stereotypically has in a lot of their sherry casts. Definitely coming through here. Complementing that, lots of like rich plums and figs. Uh, that sherry note is coming through for sure. I get some spiciness, a little bit of allspice. Um, the oak in here is very nice. Maybe a little bit of like nutmeg uh, to complement that allspice as well. Very nice spice notes. Um, nuttiness, some almonds, so maybe some like crushed walnut, maybe perhaps. And I get a little bit of that Macallan uh, house style sulfur. Very, very light on this nose. Um, it's like that matchstick, kind of burnt matchstick. Uh, very well integrated, not off putting to me at all, but it does remind me Macallan when I nose this for sure. I think there's something a little sharp about the nose on this. And I'll get to that when we compare them head to head. But for now, let's go palette. So that orange note that I got on the nose translates to the palette. It becomes more of like an orange kind of marmalade. Very, very nice. Really nice note. The prunes and the plums definitely carry over. Nice rich uh, fruit notes to it. Chocolate fudge, definitely get that. Um, that's a common note that I would get in a Macallan. This one's got it for sure. Um, the, oaky notes, the oaky notes and the, the nuttiness, again, translates over as well. And again, that sulfur. Um, the Macallan house style makes itself known in this for sure. So all the elements that I would expect from Macallan sherry cask are in this. Where this falls short a little bit for me is that the finish is slightly thin. I feel like the robustness and the power uh, and, the, and the viscosity that I normally get from a Callan 12 seems a little bit toned down in this version of it. And I feel like the balance is slightly off. I feel like these notes are kind of jutting out kind of sharply all over the place. Whereas uh, maybe with the older Macallan, they're kind of more refined. I feel like this has lost just a little bit of his elegance um, in, in the whiskey. That being said, I think it's absolutely delicious. I think it's really good. Um, I think it still holds uh, you know, a lot of what it used to have. Um, just a few elements here and there are starting to like, you know, become noticeable and starting to miss a little bit for me. So before I score it, let's go back to the old Macallan 12. So again, this was released I think they discontinued these, I want to say 2000 and... I'll put it here. I'm not for sure. I'll put it here for when the, this version of the bottle was discontinued and they, and they went with the new, the new style. Now right away, you can tell by the color difference um, that the older version of the Macallan 12 is a little bit darker. So does that mean that they're using maybe some more refill casks? Are their casks um, you know, a little more tired out? Perhaps, hard to say for sure. 
um, but McAllen does not color their whiskey, and they started actually saying it on the new bottle, which I think is great. Um, so we can compare color and kind of uh, learn some information about that. So on the old one, I'm getting what I got on the new one too. I'm getting that orange note, um, that really nice like prunes, that fig, uh, those fruits. Again, the nuttiness, the oak, but everything here seems it's like in really well balance. Nothing's kind of jutting out at me. It all seems to be in its equal spots on the nose. Let's go palette. So right away, the first thing I notice is the viscosity. Viscosity is more in the older um, version for sure. Uh, maybe a little more coffee notes in there too that I'm picking up now. Um, maybe a little more leather as well as those chocolate notes, the orange and the sulfur note, uh, the Macallan style. Uh, pick it up in here, it's a little bit less, I would say, but it's good. I do like that, uh, that matte stick. Very, very slight, um, just kind of complements the rest of the flavors in my opinion, but really good. That's a really good bottle. So um, I think the main takeaway, for me anyway, on these two, one is the, uh, the balance is a little bit better in the older version. The viscosity is better in the older version. The general like roundness, and I think like the, uh, the elegance is lost a little bit in the newer bottling. Um, I think McAllen had this really nice, elegant uh, boldness to it that's kind of a little bit lost for me on the new bottling. I would say that the older McAllen 12 drinks uh, older than his age. It drinks more than his 12 years old, in my opinion. And then the newer McAllen, I think, drinks younger than his age, drinks younger than 12 years old. Um, a little bit of sharpness on the new one, uh, in my opinion. Granted, this bottle is recently open. This bottle has been open for multiple years. That can come into play, but I'm very familiar with the old Macallan 12. I've drank multiple bottles of it. I might have actually drank more complete bottles of this than anything else before. So I'm very um, aware of what it, what it is when it's first opened and what it is when it's na uh, now open. I've been gassing this, so it, it hasn't really lost too much in my opinion. Maybe it's flattened out like 5%, 10%, not very much, hardly, hardly noticeable for sure. Um, I would say that the newer 12 year old, maybe a little more oakiness um, picked up on it, whereas the older one may be a little more integrated in that oak note. So score wise for me, um, I always scored this one 86 out of 100, I believe that's my score. Uh, I will continue to score 86 out of 100, I think it's very, very good. Um, back in the day when you got it for, you know, $60 US, it was a great, great buy. The new one, I think I'm going to score uh, 82 out of 100. I think it's still, it's still pretty good whiskey. It's just, for me, it's just the balance is off and, uh, you know, it's just not worth its price. Um, this one, I won in a poker game, but to score for value, if you were to pay 150 Canadian dollars for this, uh, you know, I'd be taking off at least three marks. It would be going down in the 70s. I mean, it's just, it's just not there uh, where it used to be. Uh, I enjoy the bottle. It's a good whiskey to drink. Um, but again, the when you're comparing it to the old ones and you know that what it's supposed to taste like in your mind, uh, it's hard to um, enjoy this as much as you would want to. Um, and it's unfortunate that McAllen's quality has dipped a little bit and the prices have gone up. Um, you know, it's just, it's priced people out of the market. For myself, um, you know, don't really buy that much Macallan. Um, it seems to me like if you want to get to the really good stuff, it's super expensive now. Um, and you know, their entry level stuff, it's, it's decent, but it's not where the price point uh, makes it, you know. There's no way that this thing is 150 Canadian dollars. It's 12 year old whiskey at 43%. ABV. Um, it's, it's impossible to justify the price, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, have you tried the new Macallan 12? Are you familiar with the old one? Let me know uh, what your thoughts are. Are you still enjoying the Macallan 12? Let's say price is no object uh, for you. What do you think of the Macallan 12? Would you buy it on a regular? Would you stock it compared to other 12 year old uh, sherry whiskeys that are in the market right now? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Really interested to get your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Really much appreciated. Uh, if you want to join the Patreon, uh, my Patreon's voted uh, for this review to be next. And I kind of throw that out there here and there to kind of um, 
let them vote on what will be seen next on the show. So if you're interested in that, take a look at Patreon. You can join. Uh, there's lots of different tiers. If you want to just join for $1, you can get our, our podcast that Rob and I do, The Whiskey Rant, uh, earlier than everyone else. So very much appreciated. Uh, check it out down below. Leave me a comment. Give me a like if you like this video. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Cheers.